you may have created a new device or something that you've decided that you want to try and sell to the members of the public. If the people are ready to pay you money for it, one of the things that you might want to investigate is something called a patent. A patent is actually, in fact, offered by the government here in Canada as an incentive to inventors to, in fact, disclose their patentable ideas. In return for the inventor making a full disclosure, the government, in return, is ready to issue a patent for that. The patent will be good for 20 years from the date of first application. Now, in order to qualify for a patent, a patent has to meet four conditions. The four conditions are that, in fact, there is some usefulness or utility with it, that the subject matter is, in fact, understood to be patentable in the particular country in which you're seeking your patent. And the two most important tests are that the patentable idea has to be new or novel, and it, in fact, must not be obvious over the prior art, or sometimes we call that an inventive step. Now, let's just take a look at these last two, which are the two most important criteria for a patent. When is something, you know, when may something be new and non-obvious? Let me, in fact, propose to you the idea of a laptop computer. Let's say for some reason, up to this point, nobody has ever painted a computer green. Why green? Because I used red yesterday and I'm getting tired of using red. In other words, you're the first person to ever paint the computer green. So, is this patentable? So, the two tests that we're going to test it against are whether or not the idea is new and whether or not it is obvious or not. So, in fact, a computer painted green, is it new? Well, as I said, if nobody's ever done it before, yes, it's new. Is it non-obvious? And the answer is, of course it isn't. You can paint it green or red or any other color under the sun. But let's say, in fact, you're the first person to ever paint a computer green. And in fact, you discover something new. For example, maybe the paint of the green color interferes with cosmic radiation, which then allows the CPU to go four times as fast. You've discovered something new by painting a computer green. So we go back to our tests. Can you then get a patent on a computer painted green? Is it new? Yes, if it was new the first time, it still is. But is it in fact not obvious? And the answer is it is. It meets the inventive test. You can likely get a patent for something like this. If you're interested in getting a patent for your particular device, please continue with our quiz.